Welcome back, Leylanders, to a new episode of Leyland's Ley Lines, or Leyland's Ley Lines. Anyways, a lot of the viewers in the Facebook group have been asking, and on YouTube actually, for more information about Ley Lines in New Zealand. So today will just be a quick recording to talk about the, the Ley Lines there. And I guess next thing we'll do is we'll bring up the, the live map up on Google Earth. Alright, so here I actually have the continent of Australia and Zealandia outlined in orange. But since Zealandia is sunken right now, we'll remove that one. Alright, so now what we're left is, well I guess we should just cover quickly while we have Zealandia there before we take it away. One of the main features of the gravity well or ley lines near New Zealand is this giant boot in the shape of uh, what is uh, Italy's boot how it has the ley line right in the center of like a, a hole in the continent so just to use that as an example we do have a few other cases where this happens and that goes along with the gravity well research I've been talking a lot about lately I heard from some academics that there's a new gravity well or gravity research breakthrough that's going to be released to the public soon so I'm really keen on that but anyways, yeah, you can see the effect of gravity wells tends to push the land away. That's why you end up with a gravity well with no land around it in like a circle shape. So where do we see that happening again? Up here is that Papua New Guinea. Yeah, Papua New Guinea, there's one there as well. I'm kind of surprised the well isn't a bit lower, but pretty close to the center of it in that one. Oh yeah, the South China Sea. We almost got it there, or the Yellow Sea. So we almost have one there. Another almost. It really does seem like the map has shifted slightly recently. It was actually just Sabine who was talking about that, how the Earth axis has changed slightly. So we'll never know if that's why it's slightly off now the axis of the earth is changing all right another famous one is the Bay of Biscay in France it hasn't actually got rid of all the land where it is but there is a major river that runs through to it and bends around it then the bay itself so another one that's in common with New Zealand oh yeah then Africa that's probably the biggest one of all Maybe second, or no, yeah, which is bigger, that one or the the Gulf of Mexico? The Gulf of Mexico one's probably a little bit smaller than the African one, right? That's massive. Who knows, maybe it's the identical size. Wouldn't that be funny? Someone should measure it and see what it comes out to. Well, we'll do that in another episode. All right, the Great Lakes, Hudson Bay. As we can see, the Hudson Bay one has shifted slightly. We looked more at the, the gravity well that spins on the North Pole. What could be the result of that being off shifted? All right, and what was it Italy itself? Does it have one? Can't remember if that's where one of the red ones was. No. So too bad, none for Italy. But isn't it funny how the boot of Zealandia is very similar in shape to the boot of uh, Italy. Just much different scale. So who knows, the boot of Italy might date back to when the, the map was in a different position. The 90 degree pole shift, axis tilt, whatever you want to call it. Alright, so with no further ado, we don't have much time on this episode, so we're going to get to the ley lines. So you can see that the major ley line point or gravity well near New Zealand is to the what is that southeast. And we'll turn off Zealandia now. So some of the people that are on New Zealand have asked like what areas can they go to to try to test for ley lines to see if there is energy they can feel. So it looks like for the one the major city that it goes through is Nelson. I've never heard of Nelson, but it's pretty close to the center of the ley line. There's a big bay there, so usually the bays and the ley lines, they go close together. 
Someone was asking me how you could look up ley lines without even knowing. It's usually rivers and bays. If you're by a river or a bay, or a, what is it, a, a crack in the earth's crust, or rivers. So what river is that? I was telling people if they went for a river for a ley line, this one here, what is it called? The Taramaku River. That one goes on one of the major ley lines. Not exactly on the mouth of it, but you got to think there's a region for air on my map too. So could it just be a couple feet down the river and bam, you're right on it. Or who knows how much of the mouth of the river has changed over time. There we go. Oh yeah, there's another creek of it there. Yeah, so that one. Han... Ho Anu, Awantuna, that's another city that I would visit if I wanted to see the ley lines. Now I'm not offering professional ley line advice. Oh, there's another river that comes out right at it. Yeah, so this part here, that's probably a high energy point for ley lines, if I had to guess. Near Chesterfield. Yeah, that whole river going out of Chesterfield. And you can sign, kind of see that a lot of the ley lines always run parallel with the rivers too, right? There's a similarity. Yeah. With Chesterfield and Chesterville. Oh, really? Because Chesterville's just up the road, or what? Inch Bonnie, that's another one. Jackson's. Hano, who have we already said? Dill Watson. Now, I've never really looked at them some close up, so this is the first for me, too. Amberly. And if you don't like the accuracy of my map, you can always use the same formula. It's a very basic formula, and we've got episodes how you can draw it yourself. Yeah, so that's the river on the south. That one looks like the ley line point there with all the energy. What river is that? The Wapa River, Wapa Ra, can't say it, doing my best. Oh, it has another pronunciation, Canterbury. So yeah, that appears to be the one there. Almost hit right on the river, pretty dang close. So the ley line goes in between Amberley and the river on the coast there. Probably the full energy is right through there. Looks like the mountain here. I don't know if that's a good peak to climb. That one looks like a spot I would visit, if it's possible. Even that mountain chain. Alright, so which ley line did we start with? We started with the one near Christchurch. Yeah, so you just go north of Christchurch up to Amberley. That's where it is. They always say that ley lines and earthquakes are a little bit prone together. That's I'm always surprised to hear people say they want to live on a ley line. Personally, for me, I'd want to be as far away from the ley lines as possible. <laughs> They're everywhere, so it's kind of hard to avoid. <laughs> All right, so we'll go with this one next. So, the town of Makiki, the river that goes in there. That one looks like the energy point. That's a good one. Yeah, and it goes all the way up and branches through there. So it's interesting how the ley line is just below that whole river section. I wonder if these are where the portals are that we can get to the multiverses that the James Webb Telescope found. <laughs> Hubble Telescope. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I still like Hubble better. Anyway, Benmore, Kirkliston, Lake Avamore. Yeah, so this lake here, that's a good one for energy. Avemore, or however you say that, connects right into the Watataki River. So Benmore. Ooh, that peak looks nice, eh? Really close to the energy point. Lake Wanawaka, that's a good one. Both of these lakes. Oh, there's provincial parks. So Mount Edward and Mount Aspring. 
Those are the two. It goes right in between them there. Eh? HB Skipper's Range, Jamestown, Big Bay. Remember I was saying it always comes out at bays a lot? Look at that one. It comes right out the Jamestown Bay. You should research how many major ley lines cross through heritage sites or UNESCO sites, like, you know. Yeah, so people can visit them. Sorry, it's just the. We live on a highway. <laughs> There's a lot of bikers in town, eh? <laughs> HB Skipper Range. So that's Jamestown. That was a pretty good one, eh? I like that ley line. Alright, the next one. Oh, that's the one that goes in between uh, Australia and Tasmania. That's probably why it's such a good one, eh? Look at that, eh? That's a pretty major one. All right, so I want to visit Tasmania too. We'll have to do a whole episode on that. It's interesting how it cuts right along the continent, right in between them. What a cut that was. All right, so this one is going to go very south. What's the South Island? Stewart Island and the city of Oban. Old Band is the ley line city here. Well, the coast right next to it. It's interesting, eh? The coast one that has the energy line is the one that's like unused, but people built in Half Moon Bay instead. Lucky. Yeah, so there should be a river going in at both. It goes right with that road going in. It's like he cut the road right on the ley line. A lot of times people ask why is it such a weird coincidence when the roads and the cities all match the ley line. It's because the ley line is always following the fault lines. And fault lines are where people usually end up building because it's where rivers and water sources are and flat land. So it's not like there's someone who has a big book and is like, hey, I'm going to build on the ley line every time. It's just happening because of the geography similarities. That's my guess. All right, so maybe the ley line goes right in between the two bays to this little bay. That'd be kind of interesting, eh? Because you could say it's off by just like how many feet that way. <coughs> 500 feet or more. All right, so then it goes up that river what lake is this? Not the southwest arm, but the north arm. That's where it seems like it goes through. Connects to that river. So the fork in this river, that's a pretty good ley line spot there. The freshwater river. I don't know how remote that is, but looks like a, the fork in the road right there. So let's see, oh, it comes out in Mason Bay, eh? <laughs> All the Freemasons will like that connection. Does it come out as a river? Yeah, there's the river. So that river just south of it, I don't know how many feet that is on the bay or on the beach. That's a nice ley line too. I like that one. Mason Bay near Ernest Island. All right, so we did those three ley lines. There's just one more, really, on the first layer. The one we covered with Nelson. Where does it come in on this side? This little tiny creek? So, yeah, that's a weaker one for there. Eh? Surprised it isn't a major river. Maybe that creek's bigger than it looks. But still a nice beach. That's why I think they called these portal on charts because a lot of times they show you where all the ports are. Lake Grasmere, that's kind of close.
looks like the fracking spots are right near it it's good because the fault lines have the oils right there's the river I'm surprised the river runs across the ley line in this case that's more ra rare we'll have to check if there's another ley line in lower dashwood Hawkesbury if anyone's heard of Hawkesbury more of the fracking here a forest so here a forest seems to be one with these mountains and trails that'd be a cool one to visit see what river it comes out at seems like this point here huh the Nelson Haven so Nelson Haven seems like another good spot oh still goes through the other side yeah so Kateriri that river there that's the big one that runs parallel with it if anyone knows what that river is no name so that mountain chain Taka Hill Ooh, that mountain ridge that looks like a nice one it's right where the mountains are divided the canyon in between or is that mountains and just forest could be a river who knows connects to there goes through that mountain chain and the very end oh it's another river what river is that don't know the name of the river but there it is so that's on the north coast just down the beach from it well it could be in between eh You'd say both of those rivers pretty much I guess that one is closer the Pataru River near Manga Ruku or Lake Udi that one looks like a nice one yeah because it connects right to there so the energy point is around there if I had to guess not offering professional ley line advice <laughs> Now, just to show like the the continent divided let's spin it briefly here some people probably noticed the shape already you'll see the same thing around Australia so the distance the ley lines is able to like divide the continent but it's also like outlining how wide it is in this case right and it's funny because if you spin out and look at Australia you get the same pattern repeated just on a larger scale where again the land mass is divided by the triangle so I like that little the symmetry between the two All right, and next thing we'll do is we'll just turn on the other lines. We won't go into great detail with them because it's already getting a long video. There's just the one that goes through Auckland, Hamilton, Auckland, Palmerston North, Napier or that bay. That one's, oh, it's this river. Or is that a continent? Wimbledon, Wimbledon, Tree Point, Herbeville, Cape what river is down here this river here or that one both of them are pretty much right in the energy line near Herbertville this is just an extended version of the the maps oh this mountain point here it's on the ley line I should really just adjust the line over a little 
and I can't be doing that confirmation bias but yeah this place here that mount on the North Island that looks like one of the most powerful ley line spots should have guessed eh? and now this line just ends up cutting the continent Makamo Oparu this mountain range here that one looks like a good one for energy if that is mountains I don't have elevation I'm just judging by what it looks like and it cuts the side of the continent where does it come back in near up here near the Cape this giant beach and bay Ypres that all depends how wide you want to make the ley line right like this one on the map isn't that wide, I don't think. You could extend its width like 100 miles on either side and include Auckland, Hamilton, all three. Now there is one last layer we'll take a look at, but that's just the red layer. And it's not even near complete. It's got a lot of errors. So you can see Auckland's kind of in the center, center of all those. Queenstown almost lands on the red one. Gore. Now I'm looking for help finishing the red layer, so if anyone's good at drawing ley lines, just let me know. I can give you the formula. It's pretty basic to, to draw it. I'm just not good at drawing, especially on computers. All right, so that's the red layer. Yeah, that place there. It's quite a bit of energy there, I bet, up here. Who knows if anyone's been to any of the places in New Zealand that I covered on this video. Let us know in the chat. See if you found anything interesting at those spots. It's probably where some of the gold is. I think one of these red lines is the gold line. So Nelson, Heritka. Yeah, that area there, pretty good energy. Yeah. All right, so thanks all the viewers that I helped make the, the New Zealand content with like Zealandia, one of my most popular videos on the channel. So I really appreciate that. <clears throat> I'll try to keep the, the new information as I get it about New Zealand, cover all the earthquakes, or if anyone's got more questions about the ley line locations. No, and thanks for the question too, because I got to research a place that I really hadn't gone into detail before. So it's kind of interesting to see what spots do are on it. It's a nice continent. Or is New Zealand a continent? No. Island. Island, yeah. <laughs> it's, yeah, I country. guess cause country. Yeah, that's it. Nelson. <laughs> it's hard to tell because. Australia is right next to it, so is it technically part of it as a continent? North and the southern continent? Yeah. I don't think so. No. I think it's not. Yeah, if anyone wants to correct us in the chat too, <laughs> what is New Zealand technically? There's so many continents are in the world because we are very dense. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm probably the last person that we should be working on maps, so. Hopefully we'll get more help with it soon. Caledonia. Yeah, that's a nice spot. Now, I'm not a big fan of living on the ley line, so if people are going to visit them, yeah, it sounds kind of neat. But for me, I'm always dangerous when it comes to ley lines because that's usually where disasters happen. So all the earthquakes, fires, and... Just as long as we know we live on the North American <laughs> continent and there's a European continent. <laughs> Yeah, so good luck to everyone living in New Zealand with the ley lines hunting. Hopefully you found the ones you're looking for. And take care for now. If you want to like, share, and subscribe, really appreciate it. Take care for now. And thanks Steadfast for the extra <laughs> advice while we were talking or questions. Yeah, thank you for letting me join. <laughs> Just as long as you know, <laughs> we stay on this multiverse. Yeah, with lots of ley lines. <laughs> yeah. All right, bye for now, everyone. Later.